Hey everybody, Andrew here. I'm one of the researchers with Timber Tweets with Ohio State University working on this timber rattlesnake project. And uh, I wanted to take you along today while we track one of our snakes. So follow me and let's see if we can find Daryl. This beeping is what allows us to follow Daryl wherever he moves throughout the forest. It's coming from the radio transmitter we've implanted into his body cavity, picked up by the receiver and antenna I'm carrying. The antenna is directional. It only beeps loudly when pointed directly at the source of the signal. The closer I get to Daryl, the louder the signal will get. Though it sounds like Daryl's right down in the stream, I know he's still further away. As I get closer to the source of the signal, the signal becomes less directional. That is, the antenna begins to pick it up in all directions. In order to help with this, I have to turn the gain down. The gain is just the power at which the antenna picks up the signal and converts it to that sound. As I get closer, it becomes clear that Daryl's moved deeper into this dense, jungly undergrowth of this lowland forest along the stream. Small openings in an otherwise thick and dense landscape like this provide the perfect place for a timber rattlesnake to bask, heat up, and also remain sheltered from predators. Finally able to locate Daryl coiled in thick vegetation and thorns where just enough sunlight can reach him to heat his body. So here we find Daryl in this dense lowland forest along the stream. He's been here for over a week now and what he's actually trying to do is shed. You've got a lot of moisture down in this area but you've also got quite a few canopy gaps that are getting sun through uh, that let him heat up enough so that he can get both the right amount of moisture and the right amount of heat that he needs to be able to shed his skin. But soon he's going to be up back into the ridge tops and out of this valley. Mm -hmm. 